Valley students. I am Mrs. Ngone and I teach at Silver Spring Elementary School and I'm here with you so that we can focus a little bit on rhythm today. Take a peek at these rhythm values. Do you recognize what they are? Let's start with this one right here. What is that one called? Did you say quarter note? Exactly. So that quarter note gets one beat. And if we were chanting it on our card, we would say ta. Exactly. In the middle here, we have these two symbols. What are those called? Quarter rests, exactly. And they get one beat of sound, or excuse me, they get one beat also, just like this note does. However, instead of sound, they get silence. So when we're performing a card like this, we would show for those two rests. If you only had one rest, it would be just like that. And at the very beginning of our card here, we have, what are they? A pair of eighth notes, yes. So together, they get one beat of sound, but they're actually two separate sounds. T, T. Or if I played it on my wood block, they would sound just like that. So if we were to chant this whole card, it would sound like this. T, T, Ta. And I was counting in my head for those rests. And you want to do the same. Let's do that card together, everyone. Here we go. T, T, Ta. Great job. So today we'll spend some time just reviewing a lot of our um, previous notes and rests. And then you're going to have a chance to uh, compose some of your own patterns as well. I have our rhythm cards and we are ready to go. So we'll just put on a, a beat track to help us keep track of the steady beat. You can pat your legs to the beat while we chant. One, two, ready, chant. Ta, 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 ta. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Good. You got that rest at the end, everybody? Ta, ta. Okay, next card. One, two. Here we go. Ta, ta. Ready, go. Ta, ta. Watch this rest at the beginning. Woo. Ta, ta. Ti, ti, ta. Ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta. Ti-ti-ti-ti, ti-ti-ta. Ta, ti-ti-ta, ti-ti. Ooh. Ti-ti-ti-ti, ti-ti-ti-ti. There we go. Ti-ti-ta. Last card. Here we go. Ti-ti-ta. Great sound, first grade. You really had to be, first and second grade, you really had to be looking ahead on those. Now, if you need some extra practice, please go ahead back, do a little rewind, and review what we just did. That's totally fine. So these rhythms are for second grade students, as this is something that we've been learning uh, earlier in the first trimester. So take a peek here at the beginning. There's our half note. And remember we chant that ta because the sound carries for two beats. So here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Everybody let's do it one more time. All together, here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Great. Now let's chant this all together. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Ooh. Ready, chant. Ta, ta.
color now. Ah. Now we're adding in a quarter rest at the very end. See that? Here we go. Ha, ha. See what's going on there? Okay, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Good chanting. Okay, all together, second grade. Ti, 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 ta. Mm, nice. Now, you see what happens? Very, very beginning of this one. There's your half rest. Remember, it looks like a top hat. So we're going to give that two beats of silence. Just like our half note, we get two beats of sound. This gets two beats of silence. So we'll show it like this. And I counted one, two out loud. You could count it in your head. So listen to this one first, and then you can echo me. Ta, everyone. That's it. Okay, here we go all together this time. Ready, chant. Ta. Ooh, you're gonna have to add these up here. Got it in your head? How many rests are you gonna have at the beginning? Did you get three? Yes. Okay, here we go. Ta. Ready, chant. Ta. That's it. Here we go. Ti, ti, ta. And your last one. Here we go. Ti, ti, ta. Great job, everybody. Now, I do have one more note value and rest value that you've learned this year. There's your whole note. Ta, everybody. Ta. Did you notice that that got four beats of sound? Four beats. <clears throat> Look at this. So if it were like this, it would be the half rest. But it's like this. It's like a hole in the ground. There's our whole rest. It's the same number of beats as a whole note, but it gets silence instead of sound. Here we go. And I said rest four times. You could count to four, four times, whatever works, or count to four, just one time, but whatever works best for you. Right here, you are seeing the opening window for the Explain Everything app, if that is what you choose to use to compose your rhythm patterns. Up at the top, if you look at the cursive E, that's what you're looking for on your iPad. And you'll tap that, and this is what will open. So the first thing you will do is tap New with the plus sign above it, and you will get this window. You may click blank canvas, and that will give you a drawing board to use for your compositions. Here is your blank canvas that you will have. I do recommend that you choose a thicker marker point that will help you to fill in your quarter notes and also your eighth notes a little bit faster. And I'm showing you right here how you may do that. You see that I have drawn a quarter note, a pair of eighth notes, and a quarter rest, which is kind of like a, a little bit of a backward Z with a little C on the bottom of it. You may go ahead and take a moment to practice those note values before we move into our compositions. And you may choose whichever color marker you would like. If you are in second grade or third grade, you will recognize some of the additional rhythm values that you see here on the screen right now. On the bottom, you see a half note, 
and then you see a half rest. On this next picture, you see the whole note and the whole rest. Now that we've done our little tour of Explain Everything and you are all ready to go with our composing, we're going to get started. So I will tell you a certain number of beats. It'll either be two or three or four. And you may pause the video and take a moment to compose a rhythm using all of those different note values. And I'll put, a, I'll put a rhythm bank up on the screen as well for you. To compose a rhythm with all of those notes, any of those notes, that equal that number of beats. So here we go, students. Compose a pattern that totals two beats. Here is your rhythm bank. Now that you've done your two beat pattern, compose a pattern that totals three beats. Here are the notes you may use in this pattern. And finally, Compose a pattern that totals four beats. Here is your rhythm bank. If you are a first or second grade student, you have finished with your rhythm composing. However, if you are a third grade student, we are going to add one more thing to our compositions. So stay tuned with me for more directions. Third grade students, you had the opportunity to learn how to begin reading music. Uh, the notes on the staff was one of our areas of focus this school year. Um, so I'll just show you here. We have a treble clef sign and then we have our music staff just as a review. We have five lines. One, two, three, four, five and our four spaces. One, two, three, four. Now you might remember that to help us figure out the space notes we can spell out the word face and you have to make sure you start right here. F, A, C, E, and face and space rhyme. You can see E at the end. And then there may be a different saying that you used for the notes on the lines. Maybe every good boy does fine. That might be something that you used, or there may be many other sayings that you have used before. And the first letter of each of those words tells you the note. Now, this school year, you primarily focused on three notes, okay? And they are G, A, and B. So you'll notice that G is a line note, and it has that line cutting through it. A is a space note. It's on the second space. F, A, C, E. Okay, and then we have boy. Every good boy. And that's B with that line cutting through it. So you have some staff paper there with you. Go ahead and give it a try on doing a treble clef sign. So just go straight down your paper, and then you're gonna kind of hook over at the right, around the left, and then do a little loop. Remember, it curls around the line for G. 
And then your next step will be to take some of those rhythms that you composed as we were using our iPads and put them on different places on the music staff. So if you want to take a moment before you do that to just review G, A, and B, you may do that. What I will do is um, put a little picture of G, A, and B on the music staff here for all of you to see as you do your composing. And you can just hit pause on the video and then you have it ready for you. So good luck with your composing and I hope you enjoy getting to use G, A, and B also. If you play the piano um, or you have another musical instrument at home, maybe violin um, might be another example, go ahead and play your tune that you have created as well. Enjoy your composing, everybody.